and he just couldn't eat anymore. You know, 15-year-old boys are usually known for being able to parlay a <laughs> massive quantities of food, and he could not put another cookie in his mouth. He, he, he just gave up. It's never a good sign when you need a designated driver for a food event. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got to say, uh, Jim Nellis, he, he always puts on excellent shows, excellent uh, exhibitions, we'll call it, because it's not really a show. It, it's an exhibition of very good food. And where it is, it is almost ideal set up for it. The the artist village at uh, up on over by the mat. Um, I, I don't have the address written down because well, I just didn't have the ambition to do it. I know Yacht Club Soda is going to be there. New Harvest Coffee Roasters, which is coming into their fifteenth year of existence. They've been going around pretty good, and they have excellent coffee too. By the way. I, I was going through the list of who is coming to the Cookie Smackdown, and uh, I, I think I, I, I got the diabetes just reading <laughs> who was showing up. Definitely something you want to check out, uh, RhodeIslandFoodFights.com. Look them up on Facebook. There's links to buy tickets to it. I believe there are still tickets available. Uh, he's got a few other events coming up, which I'll talk to you about in a little bit. But for now, we're going to go to another song. Uh, the name of the band is Miss Invader, and, and they broke the golden rule with me, and, and it was well worth breaking the rule. And the more excited you are when you're giving someone a CD, <laughs> it is conversely related to how much that CD is going to suck. However, Ty Gerard, who was uh, originally from Big Dirty Nelson, that's when I first met him, he comes over to me and he was super excited. You got to check out this CD. And I was like, oh, geez, this is really going to suck because he was just about jumping on me trying to give it to me. But when, when he finally gave it to me, he, he calmed down, got me the CD. I listened to it and I got to share it with you guys. Uh, this is Old Man Crenshaw from Miss Invader. You're listening to My Night Out Radio. We'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Welcome back, my night outers. 
That was Miss Invader, Old Man Crenshaw. Uh, I was talking earlier about the Cookie Smackdown from Rhode Island Food Fights. That's not all they do, though. Coming up in January, January 1st to the 31st to be exact, they have the Lord of the Wings. That's right, for all you chicken wing fans out there. Uh, it, it's only, I think it's like 15 or $20. Uh, last year they had over 21 competitors. So you would basically take this uh, passport, these tickets, go to a uh, one of the participating uh, stores, venues, give them your ticket. They give you six free wings for each ticket you give them. You eat the wings and you vote on who, whose wings or how good those wings were. Now, we, I've been all over the state. I've been, you know, East Bay, West Bay, South County, Providence. I've had everything from something that looked like it came off of a sparrow <laughs> to, to <laughs> wings that you could probably get on Fred Flintstone's menu. Hot, spicy, sweet. Oh, my God. The, 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 the variation is endless. And it, when you think you've tried them all, the next one you go to has something new, better, and different. Uh, you definitely want to check this out. That's the Lord of the Wings, Rhode Island Food Fights, uh, www.rhodeislandfoodfights.com. You definitely want to check them out. Um, I believe the pizza one is going on right now. And, the uh, pizza one ends, I've I I've heard believe, some good feedback. Yeah, the, the pizza one I've heard very good things about. In fact, I talked to someone who normally thinks that everything sucks, and uh, <laughs> they, in fact, think that the uh, they've really enjoyed the uh, the pizza food fight so far. Well, that that's part of the the the, the charm or or the, the the selling point to this. He goes out of his way and he finds the stuff that doesn't suck to begin with, and then he will get them together. So you have. 15, 20, 25, you know, 10, however many it is. It's, usually it's a minimum of 12 is what he's striving for. But he, he gets all these really good places together and tries to figure out who's better than who. And the the, the rundown, the places I've been to, I, I, I did the burger challenge. I've done the pizza challenge. I don't think there's a – the only challenge I didn't do was not eating. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the food was amazing. Uh, every single one of them. Uh, you, you, plus, if you if you're like me, and, and well, I could talk the the backside off a of brass monkey. Uh, you get to know the people that are running these these uh, stores, these restaurants, and, and you get to get a feel for you know why they got into being chefs, cooking, and, and it, it gives you a little more sense of community. Plus, I mean, I've even heard stories of people getting together. Well, I can't make it to such and such a place, but I'll give you my ticket if you give me another ticket to such, you know, this other place. And, and there's actually ticket swaps going on. And, and, and if you go on to the, the Rhode Island food fights, you can see some of them. Hey, I can't make it out because one of them was out in Warren, Rhode Island. And a lot of people can't make it out to that, so, you know, wherever it was. But. You know, another place in in downtown Providence. Yeah, I'll give that another shot because it was really good last time. I want to do it again, and people will be swapping tickets. But that's something to check out. Uh, again, that's January first to the thirty first. Lord of the Wings, Rhode Island food fights. Uh, we're gonna go off to another double shot. This time we're gonna do a double shot of the most dangerous men alive. The name of the song is Not Your Problem. <laughs> You're listening to My Night Out Radio. We'll be back in a minute. Staring at the photographs reminds me that I sometimes get a little too excited. Maybe I'm retarded, but I see that now And I can't change, but I don't want to So burn on my pictures, cause I already did Take a seat and pour yourself a glass And fix your problems, but don't fix mine I'm sorry they forever yours you told me I needed some help Well, I found a bottle on the shelf It's halfway gone and I still can't find the answer But what was the question anyway? Oh, you told me I should go Not your problem 
try not to be bitter And I just hope you find the time To protect yourself Before somebody breaks you down But my mind is saying I should run Let me tell you about my baby She got a tired bad heart We got so close No room in between She's the finest damn woman That I've ever seen Let me tell you about my baby She got a tired bad heart